Looking for a Linux phone? They tend to come and go. Despite the platform's resilience in all other fields, save its links to Android, Linux never seems to take hold in the mobile sphere. One company looking to change that is social purpose tech business Purism. To its impressive range of Librem laptops, Purism has added a phone, the Librem 5. Its key advantage over other devices is that the mobile internet, Wi-Fi, camera and mic and GPS tracking can all be disabled. Privacy advocates have been intrigued by this phone since its crowdfunding announcement in 2017, but progress has been slow. I'm Christian from Make Use Of, and nine months after initial release, I've been given the chance to look at the Librem 5. One thing to note, this is the $750 version of the Librem 5 rather than the 2020 Librem 5 USA model, which ships for a price far closer to $2,000. Weighing 230 grams and just about small enough to fit in your pocket, the Librem 5 holds a quad-core Cortex-A53 64-bit CPU running at a maximum 1.5 GHz, 3 GB of RAM is squeezed in, along with 32 GB of eMMC storage with a microSD card slot for up to 2 TB more. It takes a nano SIM and has 802.11 ABGN Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4. There is no NFC, apparently for hardware reasons rather than privacy. The 5.7 inch 720 by 1440 IPS TFT is crisp and usually responsive. Designed to improve privacy, the phone nevertheless has a nine axis accelerometer and ambient light and proximity sensor. Built from older components, there is however plenty to boast. USB-C port for power, data and display port and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. There is also a removable battery behind the back panel, which can be replaced if necessary, and six hardware controls. As you look at the phone, the right-hand side has power buttons and two volume controls. These prove almost useless during calls, however. Yeah, not bad. I'm just trying out a new phone, get an idea of how good it is making calls. Can you hear me clear enough? You're getting an echo. It's on speakerphone, that's why. Can you hear me? Speaker's terrible. On the left are the hardware kill switches. Three are present. Mobile internet, Wi-Fi, and a switch for camera and mic. Disabling all three also cuts out GPS. Testing Wi-Fi and mobile internet cut switches I found that they behave as advertised. However, the mic and camera cut switches currently superfluous. Despite boasting an 8 megapixel front facing camera and a 13 megapixel main cam, the Librem 5 doesn't actually include any camera software. You can't use it to take photos or video. And this is just the tip of the iceberg in a list of shortcomings for a phone that can be bought today but doesn't seem to be quite ready for prime time. Now, this isn't a huge problem. If you've been following the Librem 5 story, then you know that this is a phone with a long development roadmap. Online privacy is so important for many people and short of hacking an Android phone and installing a, someone else's custom ROM, few hardware solutions exist. Carrying an always on spy bot in your pocket isn't ideal for many people. So, Along comes Purism with its Librem 5 phone, running Pure OS. On paper, it looks good, but the execution, three years after announcement, is perhaps a decade out of step with the rest of the mobile industry. And yes, you could quite easily claim, but it's a Linux phone, or this phone is special, or privacy, but also available right now. It's the Pine phone, available for under $200 that doesn't just offer a usable UI, it also has a working camera. Privacy? Yeah, it has a bit of that too, with kill switches just like the Librem 5. So what is the point of this phone? Well, no one I've spoken to is really certain. All of its advantages have been superseded by a more affordable and usable project. And while I fully expect to be struck off the purism PR list, I'm also awaiting a rebuttal from them stating lofty ambitions such as 
end-to-end encrypted decentralized communication, as announced with the crowdfunder back in 2017. But here's the thing, also announced with the crowdfunder was a usable phone with a drawer full of apps, working cameras, and desktop convergence. None of these were new to Linux phones at the time either, having all been part of Ubuntu Touch, which is still around as UB ports. Instead, the Librem 5 is struggling to pass itself off as anything other than an alpha testing device. Now, of course, it has massive potential and purism must absolutely be lauded for its attempts to produce a phone as powerful as this. But ultimately, the Librem 5, in its current state, does next to nothing. Web browsing is slow. The battery dies after a few hours and our test device wouldn't charge whilst powered up. On the other hand, the open app screen is good, while the usage tool effortlessly displays the phone's resource usage and lets you close running apps. Sadly, they're all locally installed apps rather than HTML5 apps as per UB ports. Half a dozen updates installed during the review period, none of which made any noticeable improvement to performance. The home screen is empty, missing any obvious menus other than settings and a keyboard. Apps can be installed, but performance is patchy. LibreOffice Write installed with ease, but typing was an alien experience. While I didn't expect any mobile friendly adaption of the display, I did at least expect to be able to type in English. The software keyboard incidentally is terrible, lacking any smart UI text entry. You'll find a better keyboard on the 2015 Windows Phone. Convergence also proved impossible with attempts to connect to a monitor via a dedicated USB-C mobile hub providing fruitless. Miracast didn't work either. What is perhaps most disappointing is how much I'd been looking forward to this phone. Three years on, the Librem 5 appears to be stuck in a development hellhole surpassed by other projects without any redeeming features beyond brave predictions of a generation of mobile users in charge of their own destiny. Sure, trackers are blocked, but the browser is so slow, no one is going to be shopping online on the Librem 5 in its current form. Ultimately, Librem 5 is a privacy-focused phone that limits you to HTML5 apps and a few bundled Linux tools. There is a lot to like here, but not enough for the Librem 5 to go mainstream. With a solid operating system, good camera, and privacy-focused hardware kill switches, the Librem 5 is bulkier than expected and eats through battery. While the philosophy behind the phone is sound, with at least 12 months of very intensive development still to be rolled out, Librem 5 is unlikely to be picked up by anyone other than purism fans and the most ardent tinfoil wearing privacy advocates. Looking for a Linux phone? Save some money and buy a Pine phone instead. Now, if you like this video, you can subscribe to the Make Use Of YouTube channel for tips, tricks, and more hardware reviews, and even some giveaways.